Hey you guys, it's your girl Beauty with Mika. So this is a very, very impromptu video. Um, first of all, this is all of my hair stuff and London's hair stuff combined. And you guys know that I have short, chemically permed, processed hair. No regrets to it. I've been natural for, I was natural almost I would say a little, I was natural for a while. My mom did perm my hair when I was younger. You guys know, um, I have tried to be natural when I had short hair that didn't work. My hair texture is still thick. So we pretty much do, I would say more of like a text lax on my hair because now I have the color in my hair. So we only pretty much perm around the edges and, um, perm the roots when need be but I don't want to we don't want to chemically damage my hair and we meaning my stylist because she always gives me tips so some of this stuff is a mixture of London's hair some of this stuff is a mixture of things that I like to have just in my arsenal so if I really need to like style my hair I know how to style my hair um pretty much and I like to just have staples what I realized is it's getting out of control. Like this big old thing is out of control and I need to go through here, declutter, see what I don't need anymore, look at the shelf life and just either give it away, trash it, or know what I need to replenish. I did want to come in here because I do like this TGIN buttercream daily moisturizer i get it at home goods and there's not a sticker on here so pretty much i buy this at home goods for i would say 9.99 maybe 7.99 and i really need to get her some more of this but i said before i go and purchase some more today at home goods especially see if they have it i needed to see what was in here because this is just getting out of control um you guys have heard me do hauls when the sales happen but this is just out of control. So I decided why not do a declutter with me. This is something I never really do on my channel as far as natural hair products. To let you guys know, I do watch a lot of natural hair videos and get caught up. So this one, I'm definitely, definitely going to repurchase. I blame Teresa Renee for this. Um, but it's at Home Goods and it's dirt cheap. And I do like this. This really holds her hair. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to just go through here, give you guys probably mini reviews on what I'm going to keep, what I need to let go, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and um, declutter and reorganize. So we know this is the keep pal. So over to my left would be, over to my right would be the uh, keep pal. Over to my left would be the donation. So this is definitely going to be keep. I need to repurchase her some today. This I completely love. This is the Cream of Nature um, Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse. I use this maybe about once a month on her hair, especially during the summertime because London sweats. I also have used this on my hair in the past when I didn't have any um, chemicals in my hair and I love this stuff. As you guys can see, I get this from the beauty supply store for like $5.99. Now the patterns um, line, I did just recently haul so I am going to keep that. Um, but I know there's like a three set in here. Okay. So patterns. I did get the travel size. This is from Chase Ellis Ross. I pulled this during the Ulta 20% um, off sale. So I got the leave-in conditioner, the heavy conditioners for coils and the hydration. I'm going to pull this out because I actually have to comb her hair today and I want to try this out. This I definitely am going to keep um, recommendations from my girl Will Works for Products on here. I'll post her link. Um, her channel down below is definitely conditioner, conditioner. Um, London is almost four years old, so I definitely have to keep a leave-in conditioner. And the Cantu line does so wonders on her hair. So we definitely know we're keeping that. This one I just recently bought. It's the Carol's Daughter Coil Moisture Butter, Moisturizing Butters. So I definitely love this TGIN, but I also wanted to at least try something else again. So I'm going to keep all her moisturizers together so I know which moisturizers I have. Um, and I'm just pulling, let's see. All right, so... The Tresemme um, Heat Tamer, I've used this for years. I'm not getting rid of this. I use this on relaxed hair, weave hair, no matter what. It's only $5.99, and this is the only heat protector that I use at any given time. It's just a leave-in spray. Highly, highly recommend this. This ain't going nowhere. Um, let's see, the Cantu. She has plenty of Cantu shampoos. I get mine off of... Amazon because they're cheaper when I price compare it it's cheaper to buy a double pack off Amazon versus buying them at um, Walmart which I usually get them from and this is just their kid shampoo I'm going to finish I'm gonna still keep these but I have been using other shampoos for her 
so i'm putting all her shampoos together um let's see this is a um keep in control holding spritz from Cantu. i'm actually going to probably give this away because this is one of those spritz holds and i actually just like just a sebastian um hairspray that i use so i'm gonna give this away and this does really good but it gives you that crunchy flaky it says it's non-flake but it's just a crunchy feel so i think for somebody that has um a wet set um type of weave or something like that this would be good but i no longer need this something that my husband picked up because he's seen it at the 99 cents store was the dark and lovely all natural anti-shrinkage curl clay cleanser um this is definitely good anything with a cleanser form i like to keep these because this works good on london's hair and my hair um let's see this i wasn't a fan of this was the allocate naturals lemongrass leave-in conditioner it's for kinky coily and, and wavy hair i wasn't a fan of this i wasn't a fan of it so i'm gonna actually give it to my aunt i even i didn't even like the spray on it i really want to hold this but to be honest you guys i didn't like it and you guys could see i've used just a little bit of it so i'm gonna go ahead and pass this on something that i can go ahead and give away too and i'm going to pass this on is the braid sheen spray honestly um i could hold it but realistically it's one of those things it has mint in it which is really good um but i haven't wore braids in almost a year it was 5.99 so i'd rather just pass this on to somebody it's great for locks and twists too but i'd rather pass this on to somebody like that is going to use it and i know somebody has locks so this will do really good on their hair um and I don't feel like I'm wasting money because I am passing things on and I honestly purchased some things when I had textured hair. This is a apple cider vinegar hair mask. Excuse Caleb in the background. Um, this one I got as a sample. I do want to try this on London's hair so I'm going to leave this out. I see it. Um, let's see. Something I just recently bought and I will tell you guys TJ Maxx is the spot for natural hair products. This is the Auntie Jackie's Not On My Watch um, Instant Detangling Spray. I'm detangling therapy. I'm actually going to keep this um, because I just recently bought this and I really want to try this because London has super super thick hair and anything with detangling and helping just ease the um how I comb her hair it works it's good. Um let's see this was I got this in a boxy charm. This is the IGK anti-freeze leave-in conditioner. I it's a sulfate free, it's supposed to be really good for like natural hair um it has natural coconut oils in it i'm actually going to keep this because i mean it was free and it doesn't hurt anything with the leave-in conditioner it doesn't hurt to try it out um on her, on her hair or my hair this is a balancing moisturizer from afro g i was recommended this a long time ago when i had braids and i'm actually going i feel like i mean it's a serious care and protection i'm going to keep this only because when i definitely do need to like balance out my hair with the chemicals and stuff or definitely replenish that moisturizer it's really good for that um let's see these are so good oh my god these garnier fruities hair mask this is the avocado one i only buy these little jars because they're so freaking good i'm not like i highly recommend this i use this as a deep conditioner on my hair bomb.com like you will not regret it um let's see something that i will continue to purchase this is london's cantu for kids uh conditioning detangler spray love 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 this stuff on her hair um let's see this i can actually probably get rid of this is the carol's daughter anti-breakage anti-frizz leave-in conditioner i could probably get rid of this but i'm actually going to hold this for myself because i do use this especially on my hair it's i need anti-breakage anti-frizz especially anti-breakage right now so this one it doesn't say how long of a shelf life it has but this i've been using on my hair and it works good so let's see as i go through here let's start with these deep conditioners this is the shea moisture manuka and um honey um hair mask i use this stuff continuously like that's a given so i'm actually going to stack these over here this one is a shea moisture super complex 10 in 1 renewal system hair mask this one is definitely good for my hair and this one i continuously love i've bought this several times this is the shea moisture strengthening and restore treatment mask hands down one of my favorites 
I also have another intense one. This works so good on London's hair. Oh my God, it's so good on her hair. Um, so I pretty much stack all the leave-in conditioners so I can see it. Here is one that I've used on her hair and it's so good too. This is the Mir Honey Miracles hair mask from um, TGIN. It's $9.99. I'm not sure if you guys can see that price. So I got this for $9.99. I always put the most used hair mask right here at the top and then the least ones. So I do have two TGIN butters. So I actually don't need to go to Home Goods today. Hooray! And this was $9.99. So she has enough hair butters. Because this one is still, yeah, both of them are still new. So she's good. I'm glad I'm actually doing this video because Homegirl is good on her hair butters. And then now she has the um she has the cocoa. So save me money. I'm glad I'm actually I'm glad, so glad that I said let me do this video because I would have been so upset if I would have got there and bought her products and she didn't need them after all. So it's always good to definitely check your arsenal and do stuff like this. And this is definitely needed. So these are all the deep conditioners that me and her use, and then these are her moisturizers. Now I'm just gonna continue to pick through. This is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. I'm not getting rid of this either because it cleanses. It's for chemically treated hair. I've used this for years. So this is the Triple Moisture Replenishing Conditioner from TGIN. I got this at Marshalls. It was $9.99. I'm telling you guys, I stocked up when I seen this product because I know Teresa Renee had talked so good about the products that I wanted to try them. But these are usually like almost 20 bucks in Target and Walmart, and especially in my area, it's hard to come by. This is another one of the shampoos that I need to use up. So I'm putting shampoos together. I'm actually going to re put it back so far what we've decided on so this is her conditioner is the kent this is a shea moisture um marshmallow root and blueberries kids two in one drama free detangling leave-in conditioner this one is so hard to find so when i find this i buy it it works still good on her hair and i've loved this this is probably one of the first products i started using when i really had to go in and like start styling her hair and keeping it moisturized it's so so good on her hair um I don't know when I may stop using this, but every time I try to, like, once I start using this one, because I just recently ran out, once I get halfway through, I'll order her another one. And then this one is the TGIN Sweet Honey Hair Milk. I promise you guys, I did go crazy because it's hard to find these products, I swear. And you guys know the struggle. This is her Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. I like this, so I would actually style her hair with the curl and the oh, curl and style milk, along with the blueberry condition leave-in conditioner. So I would just use these two with her leave-in conditioner, style her hair, and it worked good. So that's her combo. So I'm gonna put her stylers separate, and I have two of these. I remember I hauled these during Ulta recently because they were buy one get one half off. Plus I got 20% off. So I'm gonna put her conditioners back here shampoos her stylers right here okay so this one is the afro g protein um step two treatment i'm gonna keep this um with the afro g only because i know for a fact i was told not to really use these a lot heavy on my hair but it's good to keep the afro g line especially when you want to just rebuild your hair and you have breakage and right now with being short and processed i need to keep this um, let's see. This is the, oh, I did get this as a, we use my 100 points. This is the Brioche Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I wanted to try this on my hair because you guys have heard me recently say I've had breakage, so I want to try this as a deep conditioning mask. And then this is the Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut um, Styler. This is the Define and Curl. I got this as a gift and I'm going to keep this, um, but I know you only need like a little bit for her hair. So that's where we're at. This is the shame. Uh, this is the TGIN um, rich, moisture rich, sulfate free shampoo. So she's good on her shampoos. I'm telling you guys, this stuff works out for me. I'm so happy I did this video. This is her leave in hydration milk. I am going to try this soon because I did purchase this during probably a Sephora sale. I mean, an Ulta sale. 
um let's see my husband when he sees uh different stuff this is um he found this at the dollar store this is the dark and lovely length retention refreshing scalp cleanser i could definitely spray this on her hair especially when she has um braids or protective styles or when i do a twist on her hair um this is really good so i'm gonna keep this i think i'm getting to the point where i know what i'm keeping so far um we'll see this is the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Conditioner. Yes, I'm keeping this because I do like the coconut line. This is the, you guys recently heard, um, see me haul this. This is the Earth Nectar's Nourishing um, Conditioner Detangler. Keeping this, heard good things about it. These little samples, I'm telling you guys, I need two, maybe three, because my hair is super thick. Um, something I know I'm also keeping and my stylist uses this on my hair. I just get these little bottles because I really don't need these big bottles. As you guys can tell, I don't do my hair at home. I go to the shop faithfully almost every two weeks. The Reckon Extreme Anti-Snap, so good. Like if you have breakage, if you have colored natural hair, you definitely want this. A little bit of it goes a long way. If you feel like the Afro G is too harsh on your hair, then the anti-snap is so, so good. My stylist showed me this and I was like, yeah, I've been using this on my hair and she didn't realize I had been. So this is so, so good. It's a leave-in treatment, but it's anti-breakage. I Every time I style my hair at home, I use this. So this, I constantly keep these. So these are not going anywhere. Um, this one was good, but it was okay. I'm actually going to pass this over to a friend to try. This is the Diva Curl Build Up Buster uh, Gentle Deep Cleansing Serum. This was good on London's hair. Um, I feel like I could just use apple cider vinegar rinse. It did cleanse her hair. I did like the definition it gave on her hair, but it's Diva Curls. They are a little bit expensive, and I have a toddler that's four, so I don't really need to spend that type of money. I mean super i think this is regular price like 30 dollars it was good i got these as sephora 100 points um you know i may i'm gonna probably just go ahead and keep this and finish using it because i did use 100 points so it's not like i spent money on it this i am i don't we this didn't do anything honestly and i'm actually i could put this in my empties because this is the cantu detangling pre-shampoo treatment this didn't do nothing for her hair. It just felt like it was cream on her hair. It didn't really um, allow me to like comb through or detangle as much. So I am going to use the last of this, but I don't really, I'm not going to repurchase it. Um, let's see. This is her Cantu, her Cantu for Care Kids conditioner. Keeping this, of course, conditioners, conditioners, conditioners. This is the Afro G um, keratin and green tea restructure this is to just build um and protect color i am going to keep all the camp my afro g products this i've been loving this is her um curl her aussie miracle curls leave-in detangling milk this is works so good on her hair like bomb.com this i wasn't a fan of um I'm gonna try it because I wanna do a wash and go for her soon. This is the Kinky Curly's Original Curly Custard. I didn't like it when I did it on my hair, when I did, when I was natural and I did a couple of twist outs. Um, and I don't know if it's really gonna look good on her hair either. I feel like I should just stick to what works, but I'm gonna try it soon on, I'm gonna redo this one more time because I do wanna do her um, a wash and go for Christmas. This is another Melt and Moisture. This I love. Oh my God. I would spend the money on this again and again. This is the Diva Curls Melt and Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning um, Mask. So, so good on her hair. Oh my God. This was so good on her hair. I was so jealous how her curls turned out. Um, so let's see. Some other stuff. This is, this shouldn't even be here. This is a body lotion from Shea Moisture. <laughs> Um, let's see. This I did purchase. This is the Diva Curls Leave-In Decadence Ultra Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. Conditioner, conditioners, conditioners. This works good on her hair too. A lot of conditioners I find works really good on her hair. Here's another Melt and Moisture. These are good on her hair. Like that Melt and Moisture, if you don't buy anything from Diva Curls, buy this. These are the Afro G Balancing Moisturizer, of course. Um, let's see. Oh, the Don't Despair um, Leave-In Mask. So this is a spray version. This should not even be in here because this is just some um, Travels Body Soap. 
Here's another anti-snap. So what I'm actually going to do is just combine these to fill them up. This is the um, Carol's Darter Scared um, Scare Tears Shampoo Sulfate Free. I use this actually for my hair. So I use this, these two, when it's time for me to wash my hair. So I just use the shampoo and the conditioner. And I thought I didn't, but, well, I thought I had more shampoos and conditioners in here that I use, but I guess I don't. So that's a good thing. So I only use like two, and London has a bunch. This is a hair mask. Oh my God, I bought this a few months ago. It's just a she hair mask. They came out with this this through, it's for dry hair. It, I'm gonna try it. I found it at Walmart as a stumble and I was like, oh, let me try it. This is the leave-in, um, the It's a 10 leave-in miracle. This hands down is really, really good. My stylist always deep condition my hair and she uses products like this. So I'm gonna put back what, it looks like everything else in here I'm keeping. I've went through everything um, and I'm gonna put back everything, show you guys the aftermath of now what's left. All right, so I was able to condense three of the Riken, um Extreme Anti-Snaps down to two. So I was able to con um, condense them both into a single jars. Mommy, you want this? No. So let's see, here's okay. everything this, left. This, <laughs> Excuse right. Caleb in the background. So I have her deep conditioners over mommy, here. I got you. Okay, thank you. I so got you, mommy. Got you. As you guys could tell, the kids are home. <laughs> These are deep conditioners, hair mask for me and her, hair mask samples. Here is her moisturizers. I have two of these. I do want to go to TJ Maxx because I do want to pick up um, this for a friend because their mother was actually looking for it. So Thanksgiving's coming, so I want to go. So I am going to go today because I do want to pick this up as a gift for a friend. I don't need it necessarily for London because she has two. So I'll pick up one if anything. Um, let's see. We have some shampoos right here, which is good. So I have my, and I'll push this further. Here we go. So I have my Shea Moistures right here, my Carol's Daughter, her Shea Moisture Styler. So these are all her stylers right here in the center. Her shampoos, my shampoos. I feel like this is now better than what it was because it was chaotic. So now I know what's in here. We have our samples. I have enough of her stylers. So I don't need anything because she has enough shampoos. She has about two Cantus right here. She has a TGIN. She does have one leave-in conditioner. So I do need to get her another leave-in conditioner but she also has if i move this over she has another one right down here which is the earth nectars okay i'll put it on but this one is her staple this is one of her staple staples i am looking for another one because this is kids and her hair is not it's still kids but she needs something a little bit i feel like a little bit stronger so let me know what you guys think should i upgrade her or should i still keep her um, let's see her leave-ins her leave-ins some of my stuff. I am gonna try And I think I'm gonna pull this out today. Um, just to try it out on her hair I am gonna try the kinky coils Curly um, custard on her hair today uh, because it is Mommy, wash day I can use this. Okay, don't open it Go give it to daddy tell daddy smell it And if you're wondering I wash her hair every week um, just depends once a week definitely at the end of the week and depending on how her hair the state of her hair looks depending on the style then i'll decide if i need to do an apple cider vinegar rinse or if i just need to do a simple wash and style if you guys want to see a video on that please comment down below and let me know so i can get that out to you guys um and then i'll come back and show you guys now what i'm giving away so i am going to go ahead and pass this over to my aunt this is the allocate naturals lemongrass leave-in conditioner um just because i'm not going to use it i'm also going to take this to work this is the can to keep it in control holding um spritz and i'm actually going to pass this over to someone i work to this is the braid sheen um spray it's a leave-in spray something i'm going to finish up today is the detangling pre de detangling pre shampoo treatment i'm going to use that on her hair today and we're going to try out the patterns line today so we have this is the travel size it was it's 24 dollars for the travel size 
I've heard great things about the conditioner and the shampoo. So I'm going to try out the hydration shampoo along with the heavy conditioner and the leave-in conditioner. Now, if you guys are wondering, the way I deep condition her hair is I simply will put on like a pre-poof along with a deep conditioner choice, and especially on a hair mask. Yeah, you do. So in this case, I would use the apple cider vinegar um, hair mask on her hair with the detangling pre-poo. I do need to do this on her hair just to strip her scalp down and cleanse it. So that's what I'll do today mm. on her hair. Other than that, that is it. I do apologize, Caleb was in the background. This was definitely an impromptu video because I needed to check to see if I needed to get the girl some more hair stuff and realize why not show you guys some other stuff that i never talk about on my channel but there it is don't forget the thumbs up like comment subscribe let me know if you guys want to see more hair videos i'm not a hair expert you guys i promise you guys i've been going to the shop since i was 15 but i do use a lot of different things and i can give you guys many reviews when i use products on london's hair or my hair but i will recommend the hair razor i'll post a link to her channel down below she actually has a really good hair oil that's out um and then there's tons of natural hair channels that i watch so you guys could always find those but i definitely recommend the hair razor that comes to mind of course my girl makeup dixon of course my girl real works for products and k's way check out k's way she is back making videos she has been mia but she gives the bomb reviews on hair products too so i'll post all those ladies that i mentioned their links down below so you can check out their channels especially when it comes to hair other than that don't forget to comment let me know what you guys think it's an impromptu i wanted to show you guys just something else that i do in a day in the life and i will talk to you guys soon talk to you guys later bye